Hello folks, this is again um, uh, 2012, May, June, paper 1-1 one, one, and the question number is 8. It shows, the diagram shows a laboratory experiment in which a feather falls from rest in a long evacuated vertical tube of length L. Evacuated means that there is vacuum here and uh, uh, there is no role of air resistance. It means it is uh, falling freely. The feather takes time t, time t to fall from the top of the bottom of top to the bottom of the tube. So it takes time t to fall from here to here. How far will the feather have fallen from the top of the tube in time 0 0.50 t? So at half the time, how far it has fallen. So what we have here is, if I apply this equation here, s equal to u t plus 1 by 2 a t square, I must have the displacement here is l. L equal to 0 into this t plus 1 by 2. Since it is free fall, the assistant due to gravity should be equal to g and it is t square. So which means that this L is equal to 1 by 2 g t square. Now let's say that it has fallen a certain distance, uh, let us say x, certain distance x, uh, distance x in the time given as in the time given as 0 0.50 t. So in such case we have instead of L we have got X is equal to 0 into T. It is 0 because the initial velocity is 0 into T plus 1 by 2. The assumption is same for all and in case of this T it will be it will be in case of this T it will be 0 0.50 T and then whole square. So it will be equal to this is 0. It is a uh, 0.5 into 0.5 is 0.25, so 0 0.25 into 1 by 2 g t square. And the half g t square here is equal to L. So I must have this x equal to 0 0.25 into L, which gives the correct answer choice as choice number B. So not only that, we can extend this into uh, other, uh, to higher order also. So for example, if uh, we have uh, the time is equal to new time is equal to so instead of this uh, half instead of this half uh, let us say i have got this 1 by 3 into t t then uh, at that time it will be the x will be equal to uh, here it is a 0 0.5 it is a square of 0.5 so here since it is a 1 by 3 it should be 1 by 3 square so x will be equal to 1 by 3 square square into L which is equal to 1 by 9 L. If T is equal to 1 by 4 T then X will be equal to 1 by 4 square L which is equal to 1 by 16 L. So that means so we can extend this into a uh, larger perspective. So if uh, the time is equal to 1 by N T or T by N let us say then our X will be equal to 1 by N square into this L. So we can make up a formula with this type of problem. So our correct answer choice is choice number B.